My name is Estrella Vargas. Dear America, I would first and foremost like to start with, I am sorry. We as American citizens have not done our job. We have dishonored, diminished, and have devalued you. We have sacrificed our loved ones, yet it seems as if they have died or have suffered horrible injuries for a nation that doesn't care. Our veterans look at my generation and think, where did we go wrong? The future of you, America, lies in the hands of me and my fellow students. If we do not stand up and accept our responsibilities as American citizens, we will be in for a huge slap of reality. Of course, you always hear, your teen years will be the best years of your life. Yes, that may be true, yet, our teen years are a time for maturing and learning our place. It is time for me to make the decision. Do I want to get nowhere, stay at home, live off of my parents, or do I want to be somebody? It seems as if we have forgotten the wise words of President John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. In modern day classrooms, the teacher will, for example, bring up a national crisis. And the responses from the students will be things such as, no one cares or no one wants to hear this. Well, America, I care. And I want to make you a better place for my baby brothers and for my children. I'm willing to stand up and make a change for both myself and for my country. America, your students, are ranked among some of the lowest in relation to education in the world. As students today, we are quick to pick up a calculator instead of a pencil and paper. If you were to walk down the street 20 years ago, you would see kids outside playing basketball or riding bikes. Nowadays, if you were to walk down the street, the question would hit you, where are the children? the young people. Well, they're inside, on their iPhones and on their PlayStations. As a young person, I never want to do more work than I have to, but that is the problem. Instead of standing up and taking initiative, we are inside, wasting our lives in front of a screen. One of the major results of this is that the real national unemployment rate is approaching 14%. My generation has had everything handed to them for so long that we do not understand or know what real work is. And the leaders of our nation need to show us what hard work and dedication can do for such a strong country. But have they? As you know, America, the leaders of our country will fight to the point where they will shut down the government because neither party is willing to compromise or actually govern. As a student, I look up to the leaders of our country, but if that is the kind of example they're going to set for us as a younger generation, they need an even bigger reality check than we do. As of right now, America, your future is left in the hands of those who would rather pass blame than take any real initiative. America, you have been torn and tattered, yet you have been mended by the blood of our soldiers and the tears of our families. You deserve better than what you have been given. I can help you by standing up and doing my part. I will assert my rights, my beliefs, my goals, and my place in society. I will stand up and accept responsibilities that will not only result in an improvement in my life, but the lives of my fellow citizens. America, I challenge you to do the same. Put away the iPhones and the Playstations, and put away the excuses. America, you are my home. And I believe we can again become the exceptional country we once were. America, I am ready to help.